okay so virgo you have cornucopia So I'm picking up that someone is still someone is still eating Thanksgiving food or something about Thanksgiving. Your um your Thanksgiving went exactly the way that you wanted it to go. Yeah, you have Healer of the Ages. Man holding a heart. So I feel like this message could be for divine masculine or just, you know anyone at this point <clears throat> what is cornucopia angel of love yeah when it comes to your love life Virgo I feel like your love life is getting ready to go it's going to go the way that you want it to go okay you're going to meet the right person this person could be into spirituality just like you they're very spiritual okay could be a libra you have angel of love and angel of balance so pretty much everything is getting ready to balance out Okay, and this this man, this guy that's holding a heart, he has a lot of love for you. You have a lot of love for him. I feel like you two are going to end up together and you're going to balance the world out. Or, you know, maybe you two have this plan to bring balance into the world you're going to bring balance into the world together okay yeah you have man holding a heart you have indecision in reverse so they know exactly what they want they know exactly who they want there's no indecisiveness happy family yeah I feel like as far as love goes uh, Virgo it's getting ready to balance out someone is going to get the man of their dreams or the woman of their dreams okay you have the same goals the same values okay Could be a Libra or someone with Libra placements. You may end up meeting this person by traveling. So the Emperor could be a Leo or an Aries. I'm getting there's something about an Aries or a Leo. Someone is holding back. Could be a Scorpio. Someone is holding back how they feel. They're holding back the fact that they're disappointed or regretful or sad. Yeah, someone is holding back their emotions. Then it seems like all of a sudden, 
Like, okay, so, like all of a sudden, someone starts to speak their mind about how they feel, maybe about you, I don't know, the situation, yeah, the tower, the world, there's going to be like an explosive ending, but I feel like someone is saying something, they're getting something off of their chest. What is the Five of Cups? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Um, this person is either disappointed that <clears throat> communication has stopped between you two. There's no communication between you two. Um, or they're just like, I don't know, regretful or sad that they're holding, I don't know, they're holding back. Someone regrets holding back their emotions. But that's getting ready to change. does this person regret why is this person disappointed why are they in regret why are they down why are they sad five of swords yeah okay so they regret saying something to you virgo they regret being petty or spiteful They regret it. Yeah, four of pentacles. Will of fortune. They either regret holding back how they feel. Like, okay, they either regret holding back words that they wish they would have said to you. Or they regret saying something to you because they know that it was harsh. They know that it was uncalled for. It was unnecessary. What is the five of swords? Yeah, the hanged man. King of cups. They're still holding back. Someone is really holding back their emotions. They're truly holding back their emotions. Okay. Yeah, it's an Aries. So they're going to decide to approach you and make things right. Or this is you, Virgo. Because you have the temperance here. Maybe they're waiting for you to say something or do something. Yeah, page of swords. But I feel like you're not. You're not going to. So if someone is waiting for you to say something to them, they're going to be waiting forever. Because you're not going to whatever this is. Maybe you're the one that has, you said something spiteful or you, you said something hurtful to this person or they feel like it was spiteful, but it wasn't. I feel like maybe you were just getting the truth out. You were speaking the truth. You were being honest. And they took that the wrong way. And they feel like you two have something to talk about. You have to talk about something that you said because they didn't like it. They disliked it, or this is that person, that person regrets it. 
Okay. Kind of like the elephant, the elephant in the room. Yeah, two of wands. Queen of Swords. This person is still arrogant. Yeah, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ten of Swords. They're still very confident. Okay. <clears throat> so, if this is the Leo or the Aries with the Five of Swords energy, This person knows that they were wrong. They regret it. But they have self-control. They're keeping this under wraps. They're controlling their emotions. Okay. Even though they know that they're wrong, they owe you an apology. But they're too prideful. They're too arrogant to say anything. They're the ones that's in the wrong, but they want you to apologize to them for triggering them or they felt like you were triggering them or they felt like you did something to make them act that way. When in reality, you're the only person that has control over your emotions. It doesn't matter, you know, how upset you feel towards someone. They're not actually controlling that. You are. So... They're kind of blaming you for something that they said. Got the Eight of Cups, the Empress. Yeah, you're focused on other things. You're focused on business, work, your career, your next project. Felt like someone stood some someone said something to you and you stood your ground and they weren't expecting you to. This could be your father or a father figure. Someone feels like because they're older, they have a right to talk to you anyway, any way that they want to. Yeah, five of cups again. They're definitely in regret or disappointment. Yeah, five of wands. The five of wands here. Queen of Pentacles. Could be someone's parent. Or someone was trying to take advantage of you financially and you stood your ground. Okay, Virgo. All right, so that's all for this message.